We have now our mayor, Mayor Lovely Warren. Thank you, Deputy Commissioner Miller. This project represents promises made and promises kept. That's what this is about. I've been told that I have to read the talking points because there's a lot of information here, so I'm gonna ask everyone to bear with me. I was excited to see my Aunt Margie and her friend Lenora and all of them here today. This is the neighborhood that my grandparents moved to when they came here from King Street, South Carolina, and we have seen it go through many, many changes. Um, but we promised that it would come back, and President Scott, we kept that promise. I want to thank, of course, President Scott and other members of City Council, of course, Councilmember Lachey Harris joins us today, and I'm happy to see so many people from the community who have been part of our efforts to revitalize Bull's Head for so long. Today, I am happy to announce that we have selected Dawson Company of Atlanta, Georgia as the prime developers to drive private investment in Bull's Head. And I am also happy to announce that Bull's Head was one of just two neighborhoods in the entire United States of America to be selected for an in-depth transformational study by the internationally known Urban Land Institute, and that study concludes today. The other neighborhood that was chosen was in South Los Angeles. The Urban Land Institute draws on the expertise of more than 45,000 planners and real estate professionals to develop models to transform urban neighborhoods struggling with disinvestment. We are all looking forward to digging into their recommendations for change, and let me be clear, we will put this study to work on behalf of our residents it won't sit on a shelf. That's because we don't let any plan sit on a shelf. I see Doreen shaking her head, and that's what we do. So we had the Rose Fellowship come here to Rochester some years ago in a similar process. They gave us some ideas for a commissary that is now at the Sibley Building downtown. They gave us ideas on how to rock the riverway. And our studies that they have provided us with, we have actually put them into action. And from Commissioner, former Commissioner Bayer Muhammad, now to Commissioner Kirkmeyer, all of these things are in the works right here in the city of Rochester. I want to continue to thank the Urban Land Institute for recognizing the potential of Bull's Head and investing time and energy right here. And the timing of that study could not be better with the selection of a highly qualified prime developer. The Dawson Development Team has a proven track record in urban revitalization and reinvestment. It is clear to all of us that this team will be the committed partner that shares our community's vision to restore Bull's Head to its prominence as the western gateway of our city. Members of the Dawson team have played instrumental roles in developing much needed revitalization projects like Sharwoods Ridge in Philadelphia, the Clyburn 1200 apartments in Old Town Chicago, and the, the bank's development along the Ohio River in Cincinnati, and now they are right here in the city of Rochester. We know they are going to be just as committed to Rochester in this community because of their deep connections to our city. Members of this team were born in Bull's Head at St. Mary's Hospital, or their parents worked here, or they grew up in the 19th Ward, or went to school here. And leaders of black-owned businesses, they are particularly motivated to right the wrongs suffered by Bull's Head. They are dedicated to reversing the redlining, disinvestment, and neglect of our neighborhood. And the Dawson team is clearly motivated to succeed in Bull's Head. 
And as a proud child of the 19th Ward, that is a passion that I also share. I went to Wilson Magnet High School right up the street. My grandfather was shot while working as a security guard when I was in a second grade at number four school, not too far from here. They took him to St. Mary's Hospital, and that's where my family gathered to wait and pray because he worked at Wegmans right on West Avenue. That's where I sat on my uncle's lap and learned about the criminal justice system, a lesson that will put me on the path to becoming a lawyer. Like so many people from this part of the city, I saw the decline of Bull's head and, and took it to heart. I was outraged by the apathy and disdain that went with it. When the United Cleaners closed on Genesee Street, they just locked the doors and walked away, leaving people's clothes still hanging in the building. For years, the building sat empty and deteriorated, serving as a visual symbol of neglect. It was a beacon that said, nobody cares about Bull's Head. Bull's Head Plaza took on its own path toward decline. So by 2017, when the plaza was put up for sale, we had a pretty good idea what private, private investors would do with it. They would just collect the rent and ignore the maintenance and eventually the taxes. They squeezed every dollar out of our community until it became completely vacant. And then they just walk away, leaving it for the city to deal with. That's the kind of investment strategies people have gotten away with in the majority of black and brown neighborhoods. And I can tell you that today it stops. Not anymore, not on my watch. We used Redco to buy Bulls Hat Plaza. We brought the United Cleaners building and we utilized our DES team, Commissioner Norm Jones and his team, to tear that building down. We stopped the decline and we got to work, setting the stage for the rise of Bull's Head. When I took office in 2014, there was a lot of talk about the revitalization of this, build, this area, but that's all there was, talk and empty promises, dating back decades. I decided it was time to put up or shut up. And literally, we are putting up. In partnership with City Council, we put $10 million into capital improvement budgets to deliver action for Bull's Head. Our MBD team started working with the community to develop a vision. They recognized the environmental injustice that this area has suffered, the pollution that had been allowed to go unchecked. They got to work having this area declared a brownfield opportunity area which created revenue sources to clean the contamination and restore justice to the environment here. And we got busy buying the real estate. We bought up the dilapidated properties and demolished them, creating development parcels like the one we're standing on now. All told, we assembled 12 acres of real estate on 47 parcels to build, to rebuild Bull's Head. That's almost twice the size. That is almost twice the size of Midtown or the Inner Loop East projects. We're certainly happy with the success we're seeing in those areas with developments like the Strong Museum expansion and conversion of Tower 280. But our experience with those projects also showed us that we would have to do things differently in Bull's Head. The size and scope of this project combined with the challenges brought on by a historic racism and structural inequality made it clear that we would have to take a more deliberate approach to revitalizing this neighborhood. And that's how we settled on the idea of bringing in a prime developer. Instead of putting each parcel out for bid and awarding them to developers one at a time, our prime developer will adopt a comprehensive approach to attracting and maximizing investment at Bull's Head. And we couldn't be more happier with our selection. The Dawson team specializes in bringing a holistic approach to development of urban communities. Their strategy is called HEART. HEART, health, education, arts, recreation, and technology. This project has the potential to not only lift up this neighborhood, it will lift up lives. And I am very confident that we will succeed because of Dawson's expertise. 
And let me also be very clear. Dawson is the first minority or, or, or person of color owned company to do development right here in the city of Rochester. They have the familiarity with Bill's Head and they have the motivation to make things right, to bring not just opportunity to Bull's Head, but also justice. So to the men and women of Dawson, I want to tell you, thank you very, very much for bidding on this project. I want also to recognize John Majors, who's not here. Please tell him, I met him in Atlanta a couple years ago. He told me about his connection to Rochester. When he started working for Dawson two years ago, or a year and a half ago, he, he called me up and he said, Mayor, I think we're gonna look at Rochester for some things. And I was so happy that you all decided to bid on this project and right the wrongs of the past, because I know that with your help, this area will rise again. So I tell to all of those that have stayed and invested and continue to live in this area like my family, that we did not forget about you. We have not turned our backs on you. All along, we have been working to make sure that the promises we made are the promises that we kept. Thank you so very, very much for coming today. And I am so excited about this announcement. I also want to take a moment to recognize Reverend Douglas, who's here as well, who's also doing a, a senior housing development in a, not too far from here for our seniors. We will build our city one block at a time, one neighborhood at a time. And I can tell you that we are well on our way back. So thank you all for your time.